What are you doing? Finding cutworms. What's a cutworm? These little guys. Let's see. Can you see them? Yeah, and see can grub. What, grub. What are they doing to the garden? Uh, destroying it. <laughs> so uh, they'll kind of like wrap themselves around the, the leaves or the stems of mainly brassicas, I guess. Uh, and peppers and tomatoes, so you and gotta go check that shit. The entire garden. <clears throat> so that's uh, kind of what they do. They wrap around the stem and they break it off. And they're night crawlers, so they're from night moths. So this one over here has been completely eaten. Great. So check around so for... We gotta check around. And you literally just kinda push dirt away. They're quite shallow is what we're seeing yeah. so far. They don't go down too, too deep. Originally we thought they were birds. So we were out here trying to control the birds. Turns got out- scarecrow up. And <laughs> turns out they're cutworms. Too bad cutworms don't uh, fear scarecrows. <laughs> and there it is. So we're gonna feed these to the chickens. Great. Good job. Have Sometimes, you ever found more than one? Yes, I have. One time around one, I found three. Wow. I found a big one, a medium sized one, and a tiny little one. Oh my God. So annoying. Um, so, right now, what are we doing? We're going through every cabbage plant and finding these yeah. little cutworms. Um, I like this one's dead anyway. I know. We'll uh, transplant. With but I would just um, pull it all the way out and try to find. Sometimes they hang out near the root. And so like I, the dead ones, I kind of dug a big hole. And just looked. Um, we also plan to come out at nighttime, possibly with some headlamps, because that's when they're most active. Um, they're really active this morning. From what I was reading, they um, like their life cycle is pretty short, so they'll destroy for just a little bit. Um, but I wonder if the climate here is increasing the number of cutworms because I know another sort of farmer in this region is also dealing with cutworms. Um, so, I don't know. What are your thoughts? Doesn't Ray up the, the hill there also have... No, wire worms. Wire worms. Which are even worse. Great. Because <laughs> their lifespan is 10 years. It stays in your soil for 10 years. That's nuts. These ones are a short lifespan. You but yeah. got a good flock of chickens. We want to one day like take our chickens out and let them sort of roam around at dusk to see if they uh, can help us out a little bit. Okay, back to cutworm hunting. So how many cutworms do you think that you got? This time I counted it was seven, but I got far more than that. So, okay, what do we learn about cutworms, do you think? Uh, they suck. Especially if you're growing a lot of what we're growing. Uh-huh. Uh, I think the broccoli at the top of the plot there yeah. is doing better because maybe they're not planted as tight. Right. And so, I feel like the plot that's closest to us it's like a beacon to uh, cabbage moths. You know, it's to all down and, cabbage. Uh, to lay, so. Perhaps like when other things start growing, like the dill and things, it yeah. might deter that. So um, we're are, a little bit uh, further behind on all that type of stuff as far as growth is concerned anyway, so. So all we kind of did was we went through every brassica that we had and we sort of dug around and picked up any, any maggot that we found. You don't uh, have to dig too deep though, like maybe an inch down. Yeah, uh, and, and they maybe were like three inches out from the plant type of thing. They were usually like around ones that were already injured, so ones that were already yeah. eaten or leaves were already gone. You can kind of tell which ones need uh, some plucking. Totally, it's kind of we were talking about this yesterday, but it's kind of like um, zombie apocalypse. So it's us against these all these different things that are trying to attack our little our garden. garden. Plants so, versus zombies. You have air attacks, you have ground attacks, you have submarine attacks, which are these things. If it's not gophers, it's birds. If it's not birds, it's these cutworms. It's not cutworms, what ounce is it? 
The dogs running the through. The dogs. Anyway, They're doing pretty good. We're gonna feed these to the chickens. <laughs> Do you wanna put them into this little one? And yeah. amalgamate? And let them sort of pick through? Yeah. Okay. Go, go. Oh. Uh -uh. Who's gonna be the most brave? Oh, it's that one. They love oh they love the cutlers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Daphne's like, get out of the way. Daphne loves these things. Daphne's the smallest, but she's like the toughest a little bit. She's one that you don't really mess with. Scrapper. <laughs> yeah. That one's Daphne right there. Running around with a. That one's got a little worm in its mouth. Anyway, so us against the cutworms will probably be uh, out in headlamps in the dark, searching for cutworms as well. Yeah, they come out at night, so uh, we're thinking about taking some headlamps and walking through the garden. So we'll see how that all works. Okay, so never a dull day farming food at Coconut Grove. Adios.